Hello friends, welcome to our channel, Techwind. In this video, we'll see about the configuration of Netlink D401GPON, or Japan Single LAN Port ONU. Since, it supports both PON or Japan, and also has VLAN support, it can be used to configure, for both BSNL and Railwire connections. There is another model of the same ONU, which supports only EPON, and it will not support BSNL in most areas, as the LCOs mostly use GPO and ALT device for connections. First, plug the modem to the laptop. The network window in laptop shows unidentified network. Because, the laptop couldn't acquire the IP address, from the modem automatically. The reason is that, the DHCP server of this modem type is turned off by default. You can't enter the configuration page. So, now, we have to do some changes in the adapter of the laptop from attaining IP automatically to manual IP. To do this, open control panel. Go to network and sharing center, change adapter settings double click on the ethernet, select properties, double click on IPv4, in the window that opens, enter the IP manually. If your gateway is 192.168.1.1, enter the IP as same as the gateway with the last digit changed to any number other than 1. So, here, for example, 192.168.1.6 simply click on the subnet, and a value drops automatically. You can leave the default gateway blank, or enter the gateway of the modem. The gateway can be seen at the back of the modem. Apply everything. Now, you can see that the connection has changed from unidentified network to network 20. Now, open a browser. Enter the gateway. Which is 192.168.1.1 The username and password is admin or admin. The device information is shown in the status page once logged in. Go to network. Plan and enable the DHCP server. Once enabled and applied, you can change the laptop adapter settings to obtain IP automatically. Now, a doubt may arise in your minds, why can't you leave the adapter to be manual itself? You can't. The reason is, manual setup does not allow access to the internet through LAN, I may be wrong here, if the device is connected to a office network through LAN, but, since we are discussing ISP connections to the home user or customer, this is the case. Coming back to the configuration. Go to network, WAN, create new WAN. For Railwire, you don't have to enable VLAN simply. Enter the PPP username and password received from the ISP in a message and apply it. You will be able to access the internet. For BSNL, enable the VLAN. Enter the VLAN I'd provided by LCO, enter the username and password. Anyone, following our videos, knows what is the username format and the password. If not, see other videos in our channel. Or check the BSNL monthly bill to find it. If you already know it good.
After entering the credentials, click create. Now, you can simply plug in the modem, plug in the optical cable, connect the LAN out to the laptop and access the internet. But, if you need to couple it to a router for Wi-Fi and to connect multiple devices, need to access VoIP features, through this modem, there is a completely different procedure. And that we'll see in another video. This modem is the cheapest ONU, you'll find in the markets. For people, who have only one laptop or PC, and have no necessity to connect to other devices, or for people who already have a router or old ADSL modem with them, and don't need VoIP features, BSNL, this modem is the cheap and best option. Others, can purchase other ONU, which comes with inbuilt Wi-Fi, and additional LAN ports, and also a POTS port for VoIP calls. Thanks for watching. For more information contact us through Instagram or Telegram. And, if you find this video useful, subscribing our channel would be a inspiration for us. Once again, thanks for watching.